गियर पंप बेस सो दिस इज आर न्यू एक्सरसाइज इफ यू चेक नोट ऑल डायमेंशन आर इन मिलीमीटर मटीरियल कास्ट आयन चैम्फर टू चैम्फर टू इन टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके नाउ दिस इज यर मेन व्यू सो वी विल स्टार्ट दिस बैक साइड व्यू इफ यू गो टॉप व्यू यू विल सी बैक साइड दिस इज दी फ्लैंज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू क्रिएट देर इज वन डिटेल व्यू इफ यू चेक दिस डिटेल व्यू यू विल सी डिटेल व्यू डी दिस इज द थिकनेस ऑफ दिस फ्लैंज टेन मिलीमीटर एंड दिस इज द सेक्शन व्यू फ्रॉम बैक साइड सिक्सटी फोर मिलीमीटर एंड वॉट इज द सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस इफ यू चेक फ्रॉम फ्रंट साइड थर्टी टू मिलीमीटर सो लेट्स क्रिएट दिस फर्स्ट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू आर व्यू आई एम गोइंग टू चूज फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच नाउ फ्रॉम हियर नाउ सिलेक्ट सेंटर पॉइंट स्ट्रेट स्लॉट ड्रैग अप साइड ड्रैग योर माउस एंड क्लिक समवेयर राइट क्लिक एग्जिट और से ओके ना एक्टिवेट स्मार्ट डायमेंशन दिस सेंटर डिस्टेंस सिक्सटी फोर मिलीमीटर नॉट दिस डायमीटर सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस सेंटर टू सेंटर पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव मिलीमीटर नॉट सिक्सटी फाइव इट्स सिक्सटी फोर मिलीमीटर नाउ लुक नाउ दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड स्केच फिनिश and go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature now start condition i am going to keep same same plane end condition the direction one keep blind and you will see this is moving in positive direction 10 mm thickness and here we create our flange let's make this this body you will see this upper diameter from here you will see 36 mm in top view then come bottom view corner radius 6 25 width then there is a two radius 12.5 and this 8 mm radius and this flange thickness you will see 10 mm here and how long we need to extrude from here you can calculate this upper one 10 mm 50 minus 10 it's going to be 40 mm corner fillet 8 so let's make this now you will see there is a one detail view look this is the r8 and center distance this circle this upper one r6 this is different league you will see here this one and uh, this one you will see observe from here 22 mm from back side back surface so first we have to make this one 18 mm you will see this distance okay let's make this select this face a sketch now activate circle now create one circle here okay now select the center point and select this end point of this horizontal this is equivalent to this this point this point hold shift key select both the point and leave and you will see this option even right side you will see this option add relations vertical A smart dimension let me define this and this diameter according to drawing 36 mm activate line tool escape key directly activate line tool and start somewhere here and go back to the point and see the line automatically converted into arc create something like this again go back to the point and see the arc converted into line converted into arc i am going to create something like this exit center line and let me draw one vertical line activate here trim entities power trim just move or cursor press left mouse and drag and see this is trimmed okay now i am going to activate mirror entities and i am going to select this all line see here all entities to mirror 
make sure you selected copy mirror about select this line okay activate line tool and connect and close okay smart dimension let's define this dimension 25 this corner radius 12.5 this is going to be 8 okay and this one going to be 10 okay now select this one and hold shift key and select this circular edge and make relation tangent here we go and here make one more relation select this point and you will see if you select this point you will see this option click tangent a smart dimension and this outer distance is 70 millimeter now look here okay these point these point are parallel to this point so hold shift key or let me do one thing let's connect this point with this end point of circle select the line horizontal now see this is fully defined this sketch now still we have to make upper one okay now this is going to be 8 millimeter radius means 8 into 2 it's going to be now distance from here to this circle 18 millimeter now look select origin point and center of this circle make relation vertical look now I am going to define one line connect from here to move cursor and you will see some at some point it's become tangent to this if not then select this line and this line tangent relation similarly this line and this line tangent relation see mirror entity select this line copy mirror line select this line center line and see this is mirror now even though let me activate trim okay if i am going to delete this maybe we lost some relation that's why i am going to keep this one as it is this is fully defined sketch okay now go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature end condition start condition we will keep same end condition keep line because the arrow moving positive direction and distance 40 millimeter according to drawing but at the end selected contour move our cursor and you will find this option select this 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 just rotate and select this now see we selected all region say okay and here we go now at top see r6 this radius you will see this radius is lies at this circle tangent relation and extrude how long 22 from back surface so 10 minus 22 it's 12 millimeter so these options is only 12 millimeter now corner radius 8 and there is a four holes you will see here if you see this section view where this section view here counter bore hole 10 8 3 millimeter okay and distance 10 20 and uh, 54 millimeter from this end means 27 millimeter from center point okay let's do this select this surface sketch activate circle smart dimension 6 into 2 
Now, distance from here to this circle, 18 millimeter. Uh, no, not 18. This is going to be like, uh, okay, cancel it. We will provide some other relation. Just select a previous sketch show. Now select this one and this circle and make relation tangent. Select origin point and this point vertical. See? Now select this one, this one and this line convert entity because I want to draw this. Now hide it. Hide second sketch. See here. Now here one more important relation we need to keep here. Activate line tool. Select this line and move cursor and connect our geometry to this line. Escape key to out again, activate center line and draw one vertical line. I want to mirror this line, so activate mirror entity, select this line, copy mirror about this line. Okay, activate smart dimension and define the angle between these lines. This is going to be 15 degree. If you see closely, okay, this is going to be inside this. So here I am going to activate trim entity. I don't need this line. I don't need this circle. Even though I don't need this inside one. Even though delete this one. This one, just uh, press left mouse and drag and the thing's going to delete. Just drag over line. Now we have close profile. Extrude. Plain same end condition blind and this is going to be 12. See. Now select this corner and select this fillet. Now I am going to select even hidden line also you can select. Fillet type constant item to fillet all listed here. Symmetric and radius 8 millimeter. Okay. Hole wizard. I am going to select this legacy hole. In type counter board. Now here the diameter. The diameter of this hole 8 depth here select depth up to through all so you you will not get this option how much depth this is total 10 millimeter but uh, we will keep 10 counter bore diameter 10 and depth of counter bore 3 now rest come everything same Position. Now select this face and keep cursor somewhere. Okay, let's make this to smart dimension. Select center to center distance 20. Center to here 10. And distance from center to half. 54 divided by 2. Hold shift key is still not fully defined. Select both the center point vertical. Now this is fully defined sketch. Okay. Now look. Let's activate mirror tool. Now first select plane. Right plane. Now feature to mirror already selected from here. Say OK. Look. Let's make these also four holes, 48 millimeter. And you will see this detail view. This is the hole. 10 outer diameter 3 and inside diameter 6. 
then from back surface there is a hole you will see 20 18 mm depth and this is lies at the point of this uh, starting point of this oblong 18 diameter okay again oh his hole wizard simple hole board diameter here i am going to change 6 rest i am going to keep as it is counter board 3 everything same position select this face escape key to out smart dimension the center to center distance 32 okay now make important relation select this end point of this vertical line hold shift key select this point horizontal this is important relation vertical relation smart dimension now 48 is outer distance so 48 divide by 2 look this is fully defined sketch say okay just rotate mirror feature plane i am going to select just drop down this menu and which plane you are going to select right plane is suitable for this feature to mirror already selected by default say okay now look again i am going to add one hole here from back side so select hole now choose simple hole metric hole dowel hole if you can't find here the diameter what you want simply choose show custom 18 diameter blind and depth up to shoulder here see and shoulder depth how much 20 and uncheck this option position select this one move somewhere here press escape key to out now select this point and uh, end point of this horizontal relation select again origin point and this point vertical relation okay now see the hole is created here one more hole you see 22 10 16 45 uh, this is going to be 45 uh, angle and this located at start point of this now here i want to place those hole but i am going to place with the help of revolve boss base feature so i am going to select right plane sketch let's do section view right plane okay now it will help better activate line tool connect from here to here don't create any relation now select this line construction smart dimension now select this line if move cursor outside you will get the diameter 20 similarly for this 16 okay now choose this angle 45 degree 22 mm okay now uncheck section view and here select detail view hidden line visible now you remember this origin point is the center of body and we selected 32 it means 32 divided by 2 it's going to be 16 revolve cut 
it is open profile just because of this construction line so it is asking you would you like to close this profile say yes now i am going to change just rotate now here axis of revolution selected by system this direction i want to ro cut rotate ro in rotational view so you have to select here angle 360 degree say yes and you will see the preview this is just exactly located at center of this now here we have two hole 36 and these hole are just located at the center of this circle you will see this detail view detail view b now thread diameter dimension uh, you will see here uh, like uh, 18 25 is overall length m6 into a one two number of holes see here c18 36 counter bore hole wizard now here one option called straight tap keep customizing metric tap the bottoming hole and from here you can select your desired thing so m6 into 1 see here now keep end condition blind the depth of thread 25 but here you have to choose depth of thread 18 with call out position now select this face now i am going to place somewhere here and somewhere here escape key to out smart dimension i am going to select this distance 36 mm and distance from here to this going to be 18 look is still not defined hold shift key select first origin point then these two point and leave shift key and you will see this option vertical this is fully defined just rotate say okay now here see if you want to see cosmetic thread go to option documents property detailing and here activate shaded cosmetic thread now look section view okay now here you can see look thread up to 18 then overall length here also the hole and this is your hole now back side if if you see there is a two more holes m6 into 1 depth thread depth 18 overall length 18 or uh, thread depth 12 and distance you will see 80 mm from this end to this end so we will consider this as a center rotate counter bore hole straight tap standard metric tapped bottoming hole m6 into 1 that's it and now blind condition we have to change it here overall length of hole 16 and distance depth up to shoulder blind this is thread depth 2 go to position select this face now let's place right and select smart dimension center to center distance 80 now origin this is the center point so this is 18 by 2 it's 40 now place hold shift key select origin point and these all circle points vertical now see this is fully defined sketch okay now check section view okay normal now look the hole is created with thread see uncheck section view now there is a chamfer two chamfer 
I am going to choose angle distance, number of chamfer, and here two into forty five degree. This is the first one. Rotate. This is the second one. Okay. Fillet. Constant size fillet. Radius six number, and here item to choose this corner. These two corner. We forget to add. Okay. Right plane section view. Okay, and you will see here. Material. So let me right click edit material. Activate iron cast iron. So I'm going to choose gray cast iron. Apply close. But uh, I am going to select edit, uncheck section view, activate edit appearance. I want to change this in red color. Come down here, green eighty six, blue sixty two. Okay, now this is going to match with our drawing. If you want to change this uh, center uh, holes and everything, just simply select all the ap appearance, metal, polish, distill. Uh, look, polish, distill, chamfer also going to make polish, distill. now this is look perfect don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid books thanks for watching